Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test and today we are looking at the new Durafly Brewster F2A Buffalo from our friends at HobbyKing.com. So uh, Navy uh, Warbird, uh, got two uh, classic US Navy schemes apparently, made of EPO foam so it's going to be very resilient to any knocks that we might give it, pre-installed electronics, going to be very quick to build. Um, pre-applied scale decals and paint. This is hand launch only uh, and therefore uh, no landing gear, I think is what they mean, and so you'll have to barely land it. Quick to build, compact size for easy transport. 36 inch wingspan, 26 inches long, uh, comes with the 1200 kV Aerostar brushless outrunner and the 40 amp speed controller 10x5 prop. Um, and the lithium polymer flight pack that you need for this is a 3 cell 2200 pack. So let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so very quick review of the parts. The fuse large, you can see we've got that 1200 kV Aerostar motor brushless outrunner already in place. Um, wing is obviously going to attach underneath, looks like with two screws. We've got the push rod just to hook up to the uh, rudder, probably with a, with a nut and bolt. We've got to glue the tail, horizontal tail plane in place. It's got a horn already glued uh, to the bottom of that that we can hook up the push rod for the elevator to. Uh, attach the wing and then we have to put that belly piece in place, I think probably with two screws, looking underneath the canopy, held on by a magnet at the back, and you can see we've got a pilot in there, which is great. We've got the Aerostar 40 amp brushless speed controller, the two servos for the elevator and the rudder, XT60 connector for our three cell 2200 milliamp hour pack, and a Velcro strap for our battery snaps shut, the wing, uh, two ailerons obviously, so the servos are in place, just got to hook those up with the provided push rods, connecting the, the aileron lead into our receiver, and uh, in our little baggie here we've got the Y lead for the ailerons, and some nuts and bolts and that type of stuff. And uh, well, it looks like we've got a spare cockpit, just in case I think we would want to put a camera inside Go FPV or uh, use a different pilot maybe. Okay, so that's it. That's very quick to put this together and next time you see this, it's going to be in the air. All set then, James? Yep. All right, so here we are down the flying field. Actually, it was quite overcast and miserable a minute ago, but the sun's come out and so has the new Durafly Buffalo. Um, little hand launcher, uh, so really easy to put together. I can't give you any more tips uh, about putting this together. It really is super simple. Um, but uh, you know, it's the type of thing you want to bring down the flying field when you want no hassle. You just want to put in the battery, turn it on your transmitter and chuck it in the air and go flying. No hassle at all. So uh, let's get my friend John to hand launch, if you wouldn't mind, John. Just check the controls one final time, call me paranoid. Up is up, left, right. And we're all good. All right, thanks John. John actually taught me to fly many years ago, didn't you John? I haven't changed much, have I, in all that time, John? I'm still as bad a pilot. Okay. Okay.
there we go, Durafly Buffalo. Uh, a lot of fun to fly, got some good speed, flies awesome inverted, you can do some basic aerobatics with it. Um, got some nice scale detail and actually one thing I, I do like underneath and John John who hand launched it would appreciate this it's actually got some really decent um, uh, grips underneath for hand launching uh, you can actually use your thumb and your finger to really get a good grip on it when you launch it so the first time my advice is the first time you fly this get someone else to fly it uh, to look, hand launch it for you so because it won't be trimmed out and then you trim it out and then from then on you should be able to throttle up on your transmitter and throw it yourself but don't do that the first time that's my advice and also throw it into wind so that's it that's the new durafly buffalo the link is uh, to this is in the video description so have a click on that and see what the price is i think you'll be surprised but otherwise, that's it for this Essential RC Flight Test. Thanks for watching. Thanks to James on video. Thanks to John for hand launching. And thanks to my lovely wife, actually, who, you know what I'd done? I bought everything here. I'd left my transmitter at home. And lovely wife, my lovely wife over there. Claire, thanks very much for bringing my transmitter. I left my transmitter at home. I'm an idiot but I bought the plane and everything and she, she bought the transmitter here for me so I could fly. So uh, thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Yeah.